All praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rikah, Kodash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone for teaching us this truth. And Shalom to the hopeful elect. Today's lesson, as you can see on the, on the screen, it comes from uh, Daily News, and uh, this is uh, posted uh, uh, about five working days ago. And it, uh, and it reads, uh, Colorado cops laugh as they watch video of themselves breaking woman's arm. I believe that's what it says. Yeah. So you can see uh, uh, down here where it said, Moments Colorado cops fist bump and laugh at video of themselves breaking arm and dislocating shoulder of dementia suffering woman, 73 after she left Walmart without paying $13. But, you know, I, hadn't se I have seen this in the uh, city I live in, you know, uh, about, you know, two or three weeks ago. Well, I say about two, about two or three months ago where they had this, uh, this older white woman, you know, so-called white woman, walks out of the store with kitty litter, you know, uh, and I was telling the, you know, the, uh, you know, how they had, like, Walmart had the uh, greeters standing at the door, and I was like, hey, that woman that stole that. <laughs> she looked at me and laughed, you know, kind of like, thought I was joking. I was like, well, I'm serious. But, you know, it ain't no big deal, you know. But, you know, Esau Edom uh, has this entitlement uh, that, you know, they can get away with everything. And basically, you know, at that point, you know, they were getting away with everything. But right here, it's showing that that uh, it, it, it's starting to backfire on them, you know. You know, all of the things that, you know, that they come on against us about, you know, uh, what, you know, being that uh, usual suspect when it comes to different crimes. This is uh, uh, Deuteronomy chapter 30 and verse 7. It says, And the Lord Yahweh, thy power will put all these curses upon thy enemies and on them that hate thee, which prosecute thee. And, you know, I, I think I'll bring that out a, a few times, you know, because of the time that we're in. You know, we're in the time that where, you know, these uh, curses that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah put on his people, which are you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, which are the true biblical Hebrew Israelites in the Bible, you know, the 12 lost tribe, you know, and there's a reason why it says the lost tribe, because, you know, the majority of you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans don't know who you truly are, and neither do you really care, you know, but, you know, in the times to come, when Jacob's trouble, you know, hit his peak, then you're gonna call and wish upon the Lord to save you from your uh you know your agony and your suffering and your 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 and your death experience or your near death experience which would, would probably you know be you would be put to death you know by however you know uh, six million ways to die choose one as they say you know but let's let the video play lord willing we'll come back with a uh a few precepts and it's edifying to the flock Moving on to the Colorado cops who were caught on camera laughing and fist bumping each other as they watched the body cam video of the arrest of a 73-year-old woman with dementia. Now one officer body slams Karen Garner to the ground, breaking her arm and dislocating her shoulder all over a $13 bill at Walmart. We go now to reporter Caitlin Becker, who is joining us from Los Angeles with more on this story. And Caitlin, let's talk about the officers involved in this. Who, do, who are they? Do we know? We do, Thomas. Officers Austin Hopp and Daria Jalali, they were the two arresting officers. We're seeing re-watching the videos as well as their supervisor, Sergeant Phil Metzler. Now, to make matters even worse, Thomas, just a few fat feet away, Karen Garner actually sat in a holding cell with no medical attention despite that broken arm and dislocated shoulder. Officers Hopp and Jalali arrested Karen that day in June for leaving without paying for a candy bar, a Pepsi, and a T-shirt, and a store employee 
employee actually was able to retrieve those items before Garner had even left the store, but that did not stop the officers from arresting the 73-year-old and quite forcefully, as you see. Now, a criminal investigation has been launched into this incident. We know Karen Garner's family is now suing these officers. Officer Hopp has been put on administrative leave, where officers Jalali and Metzler have been moved to desk duty pending the investigation and the outcome of it. Uh, Caitlin, keep us posted. Or Caitlin Becker reporting. Thank you. Earn free crypto. Well, you know, that's it, you know. And, and that's beautiful. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end it right there. And I'm going to give all praise and honor to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Bashem, Raka, Kodash, double honor to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone for teaching us this truth. And shalom to the whole for elect. And as you can see right here, is as a metro uh, overpass collapse kills 20 in Mexico. And the most highest judging his people also. So don't think you two thirds are getting out of it, right? So yeah. And uh this is how this happened three hours ago. This is uh coming. This news here this is from uh, RT News, so yeah. Yeah, it, everyone is getting judged like the scriptures say. The uh the most high uh put his judgment uh every morning when you when you awake. Uh roughly paraphrasing, but yeah. Uh, that's the script that's the scripture and the lesson I wanted to do for the day. So and uh shout out one to the whole for that.